and welcome back. Well, cars are an, Amer are an American obsession, so it's always fun to know what the latest trends are in cars and trucks. And joining us from a much warmer state, California, is James <laughs> Bell, and he has some highlights coming out of the Los Angeles Auto Show. Good morning to you, James. Uh, good morning to you. Thanks for having me on. I, I told you before we started, I love auto shows, and I think they're great to see the new trends and all the fun things that are coming out. So what are you seeing at the auto show yeah. there in L.A.? Well, one of the big trends, if you will, and I use the word big lightly, is small SUVs like the Chevrolet Trax. I'm seeing several of them coming out this year that, uh, in fact, this car was actually introduced last year. It's just now coming into showrooms, and I think it makes a lot of sense for a lot of American families. It's got that kind of a higher riding position that most uh, people seem to love. It's got room for the kids and their stuff in the back, but it's got a, a very uh, rational size, a small four-cylinder engine. It gets great fuel efficiency. But it's turbocharged, so it's got plenty of power. You're not going to be uh, in a struggle to get on the freeway or anything like that. And I think Chevrolet's kind of led the way here because we've now seen new uh, crossover SUVs similar to that in size coming out from several other manufacturers. In fact, we saw from Mazda the um, CX-3 just come onto the marketplace. Will actually just be introduced here at the LA Auto Show. Honda is also doing something called the HRV, which is built off their Honda Fit. So it really is an issue of uh, you know small being the new big thing, which is uh, pretty. Exciting and unexpected and mostly cool because let's be honest General Motors was kind of the uh, one of the leaders in this segment. Absolutely and you're kind of showing us some of these cars and trucks that are new and on the scene. Trucks though are a really big part of what's trending what people are looking for in the new market right? Trucks are fantastic but before we talk about that I want to talk about this thing over my shoulder Woo! if you don't mind. I want to whistle at that I wish I could whistle. Why. I want to, I knew you'd have some reaction to it, and, and that's, oh, there you go, well done, well done. Uh, yes, this is the Chaparral 2X Vision concept. Now, this is a concept that if you have PlayStation 4 and Gran Turismo 6, you too can be driving this car at 300 miles an hour on the on a virtual racetrack uh, in the next couple minutes if you just download it onto your PlayStation. Again, it's a concept car, and the idea being that Chaparral was a company that did race cars back in the late 60s and early 70s. And their idea was, okay, we can keep building bigger and bigger engines that, uh, you know, to push through the air, or we can make the car work with the air. You know, so that they were the first to put a wing on the back of the car. They were the first to put ground effects around the sides to make it slide through the air so you could have a smaller engine, smaller car, but still be faster around the track. So the idea that Chevrolet had was, so what if, what if we took that company and said, what, they were still in business in 2014, what sort of car might they be making? We think it might be this. And again, if you've got uh, PlayStation 4 and Gran Turismo 6, you can drive it tomorrow. It's pretty cool because a lot of people, you know, they don't know a lot about concept cars. Concepts are, are just something kind of fun. Right. You make one or, you know, whatnot that travels around at these auto shows for us, like you said, to see what they would be making this year and this time, potentially if they were still yeah. doing that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it also because it's important that the, you know, the gaming community is so important for introducing people to new brands and new technologies and so forth. I mean, when you think about um, uh, the gaming community and how they've embraced brands like Mitsubishi and, and Subaru uh, because of their inclusion in video games, I think that's really being a good spot, a good spot for Chevrolet. There's now, earlier the truck. you mentioned trucks. And I, Yes, I apologize for uh, uh, moving you in. I, I, I knew you wanted to see the, the concept car, so we did that one first. But, the, of course, uh, pickup truck sales have really been a workhorse in our economy or the recovery of the economy. And the car side, you know, we're going to sell close to 16 million new cars and trucks in the U.S. this year. That's almost the record. And many analysts are saying that we're going to cross 17 million, which would be the record next year. And trucks have been a huge part of that, not just from General Motors, but also from Ford, also from Dodge. It's really been huge. And I think a big reason why is what you find on the inside of today's trucks. Sure, the back still has the bed you expect, and it's got that r rough uh, durability, but it's on the inside that the big difference is. They're very quiet, they're very refined. It's almost like a, a luxury sedan on the inside, and there's plenty of cool technology. In fact, this vehicle here is putting out a Wi-Fi signal that I can connect up to seven different devices to. So the way I go to a hotel and connect uh, to the Wi-Fi or maybe to a Starbucks and connect, my, my vehicle, my GM vehicle, any Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac is going to have Wi-Fi coming out of the vehicle. It, uh, and people say, well, why do I need that? I already have Wi-Fi on my phone. Well, here's the big reason. I can put a big antenna for the Wi-Fi and I can put a lot of power to that antenna. So the signal is going to be stronger, cleaner, less dropouts. It really is a refined online experience. Pretty cool, James. Where do, where do we go to find out more about all the cars and the concepts that are there? 
I would suggest going to Chevrolet.com. There you're going to find uh, links to the vehicles like uh, we've talked about here at the LA Auto Show. And more importantly, maybe some sneak peeks in what you're going to see in Detroit come January. Great stuff. Thanks so much, James. My pleasure. Thank you.